Hello friends, uh, let's talk about Arabinos Operon a little bit. So Arabinos Operon is uh, kind of very similar like, uh, you know, uh, the, mm, I mean, uh, the Lactose Operon. It's kind of having similarity with Lactose Operon. Because the ultimate concept of Operon is turning genes on and off, right? For example, what happens in Arabinos Operon is it's about breakdown of Arabinos or breaking down of Arabinos. So, what it means, suppose there is Arabinose present in the media and you are a bacteria, you feed on Arabinose and you also feed on glucose. Now, if glucose is present, obviously glucose should be your first choice because glucose is the simplest kind of sugar, you take very less energy to break it down. But if glucose is absent in all these situations, you have Arabinose to feed on. So, you will break down Arabinose, right? And Arabinose operon is a construction of genes that will help to produce enzymes that breaks down Arabinose to the simpler form so that you can metabolize that and produce energy, right? So let's look at the gene structure of the Arabinose first. It is consisting of like any other operon. There should be a regulatory region, there should be an operator, there should be any repressor or activator elements and should be some structural genes, right? For example, this is the structural site called ARABAD because it's a short form of Arabinose gene is small a, small r and small a called ARA. So ARAB, ARAA, ARAD, ARABAD. Now ARABAD, these three genes are the structural genes. That means they will produce certain products, certain enzymes that will help you to break down Arabinose, okay? On the other hand, upstream of it, we are having control elements. In the control elements, we are having regions like operator, Arabinose operator. And there are two operators for Arabinose, Arabinose operator 1 called ARAO1 and Arabinose operator 2 called ARAO2. Except for that, there is an Arabinose inhibitor molecule that is called ARAC or ARAI in that case. Okay, so, so let's, okay. So here the repressor molecule is ARAC. That's a very important control element here. Because ARAC, once it is being produced, it acts as a repressor, right? And it will bind to this operator region and ARAI region and it will form a loop and that will prevent the polymerase to sit onto the promoter and transcribe the structural genes. That is the fundamental idea of Arabinose operon. So if you look at here, the structural genes, structural genes, you know, uh, let's say the Arab B means the structural gene, they code for Arabinose isomerase. Arab B means, uh, Arab A means ribulokinase and Arab D produces ribulose 5 phosphate epimerase. All these enzymes are required in the multi-enzymatic pathway to break down arabinose into xylulose 5-phosphate. Okay, so these are the sequential events. These are the structural genes that should be transcribed and translated into proteins. On the other hand, the ARAC or the repressor element here, the mRNA is produced, it will produce, sorry, it will produce the repressor now, the repressor always repress this operon until and unless arabinose is present in the media. Now, if the repressor is only present, it will form the loop, stop and halt the transcription and translation of the structural genes. But if L arabinose is present in the media, that arabinose will bind with the repressor and it turn it, this repressor into an activator. So, once the repressor is now activated, now the activator will no longer form any loop. In that case, the polymerase can easily sit onto the promoter and transcribe the structural genes, translate those genes and it will produce the enzymes, right? So now let's look at the actual process. All these figures are taken from void and void. So if you look at here at the very beginning, when let's say arabinose is not present in the media and also as arabinose is not present and let's say also ara c is also not present arabinose is not present 
ara c also is not present in that case as arabinose is not present and ara c is not present so there will not be any repressor and during that place ara c should be produced because that's a controller element so they will transcribe the ara c gene translate that ara c gene to produce ara c protein right during that part they also as as there is no ara c no inhibition no loop formation ara bad or structural genes will be transcribed but very low transcription rate very slowly they will transcribe the structural genes right they will produce ara bad mrna and then they will produce the bad proteins enzymes in very very less amount right now the second scenario will be talking once the ara c is present in the media and in that case there is no arabinose present right now the idea is if there is no arabinose present in the media we need to halt this operon we need to inhibit this operon because the idea to produce ara bad or structural genes is to break down the arabinose so if there is no arabinose there is no need for transcribing and translating the ara bad genes right and that's what's happening here so there is no arabinose in the medium and there is ara c in the medium which is a repressor so what will it do as there is no arabinose ara c will act as a repressor so ara c will form dimers with each other and it will bind with ara o1 and ara o2 it will bring ara o2 and ara i1 domains to close to each other by folding this gene segment and as they form this loop they will close the region they will close the region which is called the promoter here this is the promoter so polymerase will not be able to sit on to the promoter so the transcription of ara bad genes is not possible and it will prevent to produce ara bad enzymes so there will be no breakdown of arabinose and that's justified because if there is no arabinose this is no requirement to produce ara bad genes or ara bad proteins right now the third scenario if there is arabinose present let's say arabinose is present in the media in this case there is arabinose in the medium and there is also there is also ara c but as there is an l arabinose present in the media this l arabinose will bind with ara c repressor and it will turn that repressor into the activator so as they turn this activator on it will no longer bring ara o2 and ara i1 regions close to each other because they will no longer bind or have any affinity to ara o2 as a result the gene segment remains linear there is no loop formed and rna polymerase can easily sit to the promoter and it easily transcribes the ara bad genes ara bad mrnas are produced and then from the mrna they will produce ara bad proteins which will help to break down arabinose into xylulose 5 phosphate so this is the whole system of arabinose operon